and I think this video has been getting around there. Um, but there is a level of seriousness to this. So my my up this week, though, is Prime Minister Trudeau for how he handled, um, and I think we have a clip, but for how he handled a what appeared to be a student at the University of Manitoba uh, this week while he was out there um, doing his events. Um, I do want to play a clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's, uh, that, that's fine. Yeah, you, you set it up. But yes, yeah, so this is a video that is, is, is that is going wild on Twitter right now. So just take a look at this clip and we'll bring it back and Sharon can talk some more. Should a woman who was raped be able to get an abortion? Uh, I'm split on it. Yeah. But I think well, 95. No, 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 no. You are you are you are not in favor of saying yes. A woman who was raped should get uh, should be able to choose uh, to not bear that child. Uh, I honestly don't know. So, Sharon, uh, it was quite the scene, right? A young man with his video, uh, his phone rolling video, confronting the prime minister, the prime minister engaging, and then a cast of thousands with their phones out. There's multiple angles on this thing on, on social media. But, but uh, continue your argument on why this is your up. So, for starters, the up here, I would say, is, and I have Prime Minister Trudeau up on this because a lot of people can criticize him for whatever they want. But when you put that man on the spot out there campaigning or just doing events like this, he is really good in situations like this. Not many people would be able to enter a situation where you have someone who, quite frankly, is uninformed, making some pretty ludicrous comments and staying calm and trying to reason and be rational with this. And and if you keep watching it, you, you see him trying to reason with the individual a little bit to try to understand where his perspective and thoughts are coming from. But and then you start to hear more of what this gentleman is saying, where he is, he's saying he's pro-Christian, pro, pro-life, pro uh, he's a PPC supporter. Um, but then he gets into when the prime minister starts talking about abortion and a woman's right to to choose what she does, he gets into this, well, I actually don't think so, and rape is complicated, and and quite frankly, I just think the education system has failed us here in Canada. But what's even scarier is I, I, I posted this video on social media earlier, just like many others. And I know that this one video from the original post has had close to a million views on it. The number of unhinged re responds and DMs I have received to this video have it's mind boggling where people are saying rape is not an epidemic in Canada. Like, I'm sorry, but I wish rape on no individual, like nobody. But for the people out there denying that it's an actual issue and that women don't have a right to choose uh, whether or not they get an abortion if they are raped is disgusting. And these people, quite frankly, should get their heads checked because I kid you not, you can simply go on social media and see the disgusting rhetoric that these people are pushing out there claiming that this is a fake video, the prime minister made it up, right. and that rape an issue is it's horrendous to me. Zane, uh, what I, I found interesting there, uh, you know, there, uh, you know uh, as a political reporter, is political this is clearly an attempt to get the prime minister to take the bait, right? That's why you yes. approach the prime minister with the camera up. This is what political right. operatives do to politicians they disagree with all the time. He didn't take it. Like, uh, he maintained a very disciplined response in that whole thing there. Well, he took a different type of bait, I would argue, because, you know, there's something in, in politics that us organizers always look for, which is that most most individuals have strong opinions loosely held. They present mm. very strongly. But when you start questioning it, those opinions are actually sometimes only an inch deep. And what you saw the prime minister do is what we in organizing world call deep canvassing or motivational interviewing which is you call out someone's cognitive dissonance. You ask them to explain themselves. You ask them to justify their rationale. And you start realizing that sometimes that it's, it's, it's actually not really based on facts. It's based on emotion. And, and you this concept of deep canvassing, where you actually engage with someone and you ask them, whether it be at the doors or your prime minister, it actually often undoes a lot of the, the perspectives that someone holds, and in many cases, is part of the persuasion process in politics. You saw the prime minister do what thousands of people do during an election to persuade right. people about what they think. And I think that was really, really exciting for me to see as, as an organizer. And I would absolutely agree with Sharon that that puts the prime minister up this week. So, so Michael, uh, Zane didn't take my bait, and he just schooled me and explained things to me, just like, you know, we, we just saw in the video. So, so your quick take on this one, and, and then you've got it up. You make your pick. Uh, but I think the broader lesson here is for that kid. Uh, you know, if you're a young man, young woman, student, uh, and you're going with a camera and are prepared to chastise the prime minister with a set of probably rehearsed talking points, you better be ready because you're going to go viral and that will exist forever. So I feel bad for this young, uh, very confused man who had uh, the floor wiped with him by the prime minister. Uh, but let it be a lesson to anybody else who intends to try and do the same.